Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are attempting to draw this vibrant tree bark and it's gonna be like really quick because I'm like sweating buckets Hello you guys, what is up? It's your girl Becky and we are back on a really gloomy day here in Hong Kong. Um, there was a typhoon that like came past, like not through Hong Kong, but kind of just like skirted um, near Hong Kong like a few days ago. So the weather has been like super gloomy, super cloudy. And not only that, it's um, summer. So it's actually really, really hot. Like it's, uh, it's 28 degrees Celsius, which doesn't sound too hot, but Hong Kong is like one of the humidest places on the face of the earth, I believe. Um, there is just no way that you can go out without sweating, and I am just dripping. And so, I really didn't feel like going out to sketch, but I do feel like it has been a while since I did go out. So I want to just kind of like push myself out there and do it, and try to do it as soon as possible, because I don't know how long I can stand in this heat. Um, I'm, my whole back is just like wet just from walking here and it only took me maybe about like 10 minutes to to come here from like an AC and then out into the wilderness and I just I just can't do so much more so I'm set up here this is a really big really bad presentation of my backpack set up here and I'm looking around for like things to draw um, that tree is like interesting I could also like draw this playground I was trying to actually look for a scene where I could depict like the really gloomy sky but no matter everything here is like covered with trees um, like see that is how gloomy it is at the moment and then I see this beautiful mossy green tree trunk and I kind of want to do this like look at how how vibrant that green is though so let's let's challenge ourselves and let's do that I know like Plants are not usually my thing like I usually go for like buildings and more like the urban life but this this has really caught my eye I first debated on whether or not I wanted to capture the sketch in a portrait or a landscape manner because the trunk is definitely more of a vertical shape. But then I realized like the mossiness of the trunk and the shape really only stands out if there's more of a dark background. So I just decided to flip it and do a landscape and I positioned it a little bit off center just to get a little bit of a composition, um, rule of thirds and whatnot and to really just focus on the trunk so after sketching it in real quick with a pencil i jumped straight into the watercolor and the first thing that i wanted to get right was the neon almost neon green actually of the moss because it was just such a vibrant green and it's really true what people say that photography and videography can try and capture the brightness but not the full essence of it so I wanted to do that through my paints and I just went for the most neon green I could find which is a green and a lemon yellow combination. And then from there, really it's just building everything else in the background and just trying to layer and make it even darker. Um, as well as the trunk as well because I think the juxtaposition between the brightness of the greens as well as the little intricate details of the trunk, sort of the shapes just to show that there is some texture in that moss, that it's not just one lush plain but it is covering like bits and pieces of the trunks and there's like bits and pieces of the darkness sort of poking through the greens so i think i managed to do that by just alluding to them with some marks here and there and from then on i just tried to 
sort of push everything darker because I realized that my painting and my or my sketch rather was still quite light so I just tried to first prioritize the edges in which the trees are standing out from the background and so on the lower left hand side you can see that I try to put in somewhat of a near black but it is tinted with some other colors as well as on the right side of the tree because that's where the dark is and I'm just trying to be able to highlight some greens and this is where I actually find it a little bit challenging because everything is green but everything is a different shade of green and how do you make it stand out from one another so you just have to play around with a lot of the values a lot of the shapes and a lot of the colors as well and I just realized like the background wasn't dark enough so I'm just trying to add in some more details hopefully to push the the value even darker and it's admittedly a bit tricky to do with a water brush but I think that it is possible so I just keep on keep on at it and the key I think is to use layers and also wait for that layers to dry before I keep on pushing and pushing and pushing the background and in the meantime, I'll just do other details and try to see if I can get somewhat of a pattern or a shape out of the greens before I finish the sketch. Thank you so much again for joining me you guys on today's urban sketch venture yes it's a thing we're gonna try and make it happen and let's see if it catches up and if not it can just be like a little turn that we use between you and me and it was challenging today but i think we had great fun i am absolutely dripping in sweat right now so i'm gonna go grab some grub fill in my tummy and go back home and just rest for the day Overall, I'm glad I did this, even though it's like super hot and sweaty. But you know what? Once you're sweaty, it's really hard to get even sweatier. Um, so you just get accustomed to the whole sweaty situation and you just roll with the punches and just keep on sketching. Uh, but yeah, I would really love to have some AC right now. So I'm going to go. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been Becky. You've been awesome. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.